guys, it's Queen Nija, and in today's video, I'll be reacting to, to episode 5 of Maggie Number so let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. I should have got tissue for this. <laughs> it's okay. Her uh, hair looks like the whole or the fucking Carol. <laughs> Isn't she currently the new? Yeah, she is. I think she is officially in the game. That's funny, huh? Yeah. Makes sense. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 So in a way, you want peace from it. Never thought that someone like you would have that bad too. And there she is. I mean, me, you looks cute. Seems a little questionable if the one that's really in front of us is really her, because you never really know what the hell can happen with someone. Like, this could be just a vivid of her imagination, maybe, or that could actually really be her. Who knows? Still waiting for mommy to come back and return in this because like still I literally thought last week's episode when I watched this a couple of days ago, dead ass thought I was like, Oh my god, mommy's gonna be in the episode more. No. Y'all like I ain't gonna say y'all trolled us. But in a way y'all trolled us. Shut my fake grand order. Mm -hmm. I'm just kidding. <laughs> we can't even talk about that yet. I mean, but it's obvious, but I just don't want to say it. It's too easy. Oh. The hell?
But see, hold up. Even a fake can know that shit, too. Yeah, because your eyes ain't um, doing what Uwe just did a couple minutes ago, but okay. I mean, but still, I'd be a little cautious if I was her. Things. Why? Girl, hell no. Nah. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. I'm like, oh. Don't, mm -mm, mm -mm, don't try to take me food. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. Go. Get out. No. You leave. Leave her here. Her outfit's cute though, like, oh my god. A frame! It's like you! There's a thing. Oh, you me! There is always that one bitch who is like, mm -mm, I'm superior to you. I'm the best friend. You the friend of Quentin. Love me so. See, you got choice gonna. Okay, never mind. There we go. She just did it. Cause you're not the real one. Oh shit. But see, I kinda wanted to see a real hot fight. But that's okay. Okay. Oh, Yui.
capacitor. Well, I will say, oh, okay, no effect. It is unique though. So then how do you defeat something that has no effect? Yeah. You can't stay here by yourself. Yeah, she puts others before herself, and she's a good person. Uh, honey. Next time, come back with Momo and Reina and Kayade, because, I mean, five against one, yeah, it could be a little bit better, even though that thing cannot being beaten in the way. No, you're not dying yet. You have to find Uli first. Holy shit. Mm hmm It has to be. Mm hmm I figured they would have went and showed this, but I, I, I didn't think it would have been in this episode. I thought I would have waited a couple more episodes to do this. Holy shit. Okay. She's the badass bitch. She's the best girl. Is your mommy? What if it's who you know? I don't know. I mean, like, because... Mm -hmm. Well, 
Well, damn. Hi, Mommy. Okay, baby keep it going too. Oh, uh, what the fuck? So independent. Mm -hmm. No, you're fine. You need to eat, and it's late anyway. Yeah. So just stay here for the night. What about Curl? I mean, goddamn. <laughs> it's nice, isn't it? I'm guessing the game will probably explain a little more about her, especially if you get her in the gotcha and stuff like that. I don't even have enough gems. Well, no, I got a lot of gems, but like I said, I'm saving for the Monogatari girls. That's sad, though. I mean, I never would have expected that that was the reason why she's so cold into herself and the way she is and stuff. But damn, I hope that like, okay, 
because I may have to do some um, research on um, Mother. So maybe after this or while it's editing or whatever. But she seemed interesting. And I mean, I kind of wish like even at the beginning when they were talking and she was trying to make sure that she was really her and how she was answering all the questions and stuff. There's some episodes that I kind of wish in the background later on we can do a flashback of it of how their lives were before they were magical girls and then it would happen leading up to the point where yes she did she did disappear and she's been looking for her for such a long time i would have liked to seen it instead of you just having it in a conversation to me it's better to see it visually and then just instead of like okay here's this written here like on a piece of paper yada 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 here's where it's right in there you don't get to really get to see it and feel what they felt at that time, like the despair, uh, the depression, the despair, the sadness, the hurt, whatever emotion she currently felt um, at that time, even till now, because she feels like she's a prisoner of looking for her. And it's just sad because some people, I think the thing that she possibly would want and got you to move, um, not move, do is to move on from it and to have a better life. But oh my God. Now, seeing huh? Elmo and Raina. Okay, and what happened? I wouldn't be, oh shit. Well, Jesus Christ. No, it wasn't. Okay, as I was trying to say, um, the doppel that they have, the, what Aroha just turned into, what Kayane turned into, were like essentially what they're a witch and everything. I'm glad that they're showing that. I wasn't expecting it to be in this episode. I was expecting it to be like maybe episode six or seven or maybe like if this show is about to be like maybe what, 22 or 24 episodes, maybe by episode 12. But we all kind of knew it was coming. I just wasn't expecting it to be episode five out of all the things. Like I said, I was expecting maybe seven to maybe even episode 12, but I'm glad that they're really starting to talk about it now because I feel like, um, what's her face? The girl who passed Kayede when she was running away. Um, she's going to probably talk about it more maybe. And cause I know a lot of people who are both either watching both regular Madoka, Madoka Magica plus playing the game, plus watching this, they're probably confused because, like, my biggest thing is with it, I'm still trying to get them for, like, any of the girls that I have. And I think you're supposed to, um, I think, level them up to a certain place. And then automatically they get it because I'm getting other things and stuff. Because I'm still, I'm playing the game on and off because I'm busy and I'm playing all the other games. But I still play it as much. I've been playing ever since the EN version came out and stuff. And I'm still loving it. But then at the same time, like, I don't want to get spoiled on a lot of things, even though, like... The situation with Uwe, I know as much as I know, but, like, the anime is giving me certain things that I didn't really know about, and I'm glad about that, but, I mean, oh God, like, all these girls, I can't, and I hope that each girl, like, from, we're five episodes in, and it seems like anyone who's friends with someone else, they're kind of getting their justice, but not really, you still have to play the game to, like, if it's a girl you, like, predominantly are favored towards, you possibly have to play the game in order to know about them. Like, especially, I still want them to do, like, maybe a little more on Reyna, because she's one of my personal favorites, but I feel like the game's going to give me more information. 
it's not, I'm not like saying they're half-assing it in a way, but if you like, if, mm, God, if, if my, fa one of my other favorite girls, if she does show up, I'm a little like 5% sure that she's going to show up because I think her voice actress is super busy and I don't think they're going to put her in this anime. But if she does between her and, um, Alina, Alana, 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 I think that's her name. Green hair girl. If she shows up, because she was in that end card from last week, if she shows up in the anime, which I am begging and pleading because she's one of my other favorite girls, I want her to show up so freaking bad just to twist things up. Because, you know, when you first see her, you think she's like this sweet, badass, innocent girl. And she is like, she's fucking weird, but she's nuts. And I love it about her. She's so different. She's not normal, and that's okay. She's fucking awesome, but... Other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episode 5 of Magic Over Code. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Magic Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially all next Saturday for episode 6. Bye, guys.